It's Tesco Sid. Go and bring in our shop with you. I'll bring my half in if you like. And you can bring your half in. Well, where's your half? It's all right. I put my beer in the fridge. <laughs> you can't do that. There'll be no room for my stuff, will there? First come, first served, they come. Come on, Sid. I've already got a few items. Let me go through there. Oranges. Cancel. Peaches. Cancel. Don't beef. Cancel. Treacle sponge. Cancel. Flip your neck, there seem to be a lot of cancellations this week, Sid. <laughs> so, how much have you got to put in the fridge, Sid? All right then, nothing. <laughs> it's cancel culture, Hancock, isn't it? Prices are going up through the flaming room. Well, you're all right, aren't you? I've got a tin of spaghetti hoops and a tin with all the letters of the alphabet in it. <laughs> No, you can put the oops and the alphabetes together and play alphabet oops. You better do it quick. They say there'll soon be food shortages. They can't leave us to staff, can they? I've got my autobiography to finish. You're in it. No thanks, Hancock, or I'll see my solicitor in the morning. Very well, old chap. Suit yourself. You'll not get your fee. We're going to have to grow our own, Hancock. I'm not sure you can grow spaghetti, Sid. You don't like vegetables, do you? <laughs> Uh, no veg. Human beings are 90% vegetable. Haven't you heard that one? I used to grow mustard and cress on a flannel. <laughs> there you are then, but don't go doing it here. Have you seen the state of your flannel? I wouldn't try growing anything on it now, mate. All right, buy a dozen eggs and we'll have egg and cress sandwiches till it all blows over. <laughs> the clean one's my flannel, by the way. <laughs> I wondered why my face was covered in cliffs last week. <laughs> So raw for now, Hancock. I'm just off down the food bank. A few of my friends have just started one up. It's 50p a tin. I thought it was supposed to be free. Yeah, but they got pat and tinned oranges, don't they? No, you can't go down the food bank, Sid. Not having you demean us, Sid. Or accepting handouts. We must protect our standing in the community. We're middle class through and through. I've run out of filthy lucre. <laughs> Here, borrow some money. That's the same thing, isn't it? I'm borrowing from you instead of the food bank. <coughs> Oi, what's going on out there? I was looking for food in the bins. I haven't found any yet. I'm your new neighbour, Mr. Todd, at number 25. There's no food out there. It's all in here, mate. The bin men clean the bins out themselves. They're getting a bit peckish on their round. <laughs> well, you know now, I can see that you're there. Two lots of food. Are you stuck raving mad? We're not food. It's the hunger. It's driving me mad. Everything that Mr. Putin says is coming true. Mr. Claxton says so. <laughs> well, if you want a cup of sugar, you can come round nicely and ask for it. Otherwise, sort off. <laughs> All right, then. Don't worry, I'll be on my best behaviour. Yes, well, I would hope so. You're letting down the tone of the neighbourhood. The last thing each team needs is a cannibal. <laughs> Right, can you hear them? Yes, and you can't have that either. <laughs> it's me again, Mr. Todd. Good evening. Let me formally introduce myself. No need. You're me, ain't you? Which one? Lamb, mutton, beef. Chicken or sausages? Of course I'm not meat. I'm not even an oxo cube. <laughs> yeah, we did try once, but he's too tough. We'd have to boil him for an hour, Mr. Todd. That's all right. I've got a nice little cooker next door. We'll have him rendered in half an hour. I'll bring some round for you to taste. It's like broth. Don't talk to him, Sid. He's mentally ill. I'll have you sectioned. <laughs> so what? Gordon Ramsay's mentally ill, but I still watch his shows, Hancock. Ha, 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 Go away. Shoo. Clear off. Go down to McDonald's. Or I'll call the police. That's where they probably are anyway. I can't afford McDonald's. That's why I've come here. But I've got a couple of buns out of the bin. Here's two quid. Take them away or I'll call the police. That's not very really nice. I was going to give you one. 
you can't. I'm a follower of Jeremy Claxton. He's a farmer, and he says we're all going to be cannonballs. <laughs> so he's got a bit too lally too. What nonsense! Who is Jeremy Claxton? And it's cannonballs, not cannonballs. You don't like him, do you? He's a very intelligent man, and we're running out of food, so we've got to start eating cannonballs. What? We're going to be eating ourselves, are we? No, stop this in the bath. We can't do that, can we? <laughs> this can't go on. Throw him out, Sid. <laughs> it can't be this bad, can it, Hancock? I know Ukraine are having some problems with Russia and everything. <laughs> hey, Governor, can you spare any food, mate? They won't take my cards at Tesco's. Go on with you. Clear off, you surly looking knave. I've got a big dog in here. <laughs> What's he taste like? You will never know because he isn't going anywhere near you. Can't I have just a mouthful of it, mate? I bet it's lean and tender. You can throw him out as well, Sid. He is out. Outside. We'll see how far you can get him. I don't know. I think the food shortage is down to Brexit, Sid. It can't be. The papers said so. I'm expecting loads of good things from Brexit. It's going to be the best thing since sliced bread. We haven't got any sliced bread. Well, jam then. We haven't got any jam, Sid. There's a shortage, apparently. I know what's coming. You're going to blame that on Brexit too, aren't you? Snowflake. Well, the way things are going, I might as well. Hey, you in there, two old men. You'd be nice with that one. <laughs> Don't say anything, Sidney. You'll probably go away. I heard that. Heard what? I didn't say anything. The lack of food hasn't affected your hearing, has it? I don't know. I eat a lot of ears as it happens. I do not want to hear any more stories about human meat. The whole thought disgusts me. Mm, don't worry, I've just come round in case. Do you want to visit Jeremy Claxon? He's Vladimir Putin's right-hand man in the UK. I have absolutely no interest in the man or his disgraceful farm. The little farm shop of horrors. <laughs> Wait a minute, Hancock. We might get something out of this. <laughs> All right, we're coming out. But any fast moves and we'll be off like two little grease pigs. <laughs> Rather have two grease people, though. I've lost my taste for pork. <laughs> Right, we're all here. So Jeremy and Vladimir are starting this new movement. They don't like rewilding or greening the planet or net zero. They want more cannibalism, as it sounds on the food. So what does Mr Putin propose we do while this war on food is going on? We're all getting a book of recipes together. And he wants to meet with you and we can go around promoting the cookery books. It's going to be called Jeremy Claxon's Vampire Cookery Book. It's going to be signed by Vladimir Putin. Hang on there, Sid. I think I'm feeling a bit queasy. It's all right, I got. I've got a stronger stomach. I used to be a regular at Weatherspoon. <laughs> Here, Mr. Sweeney Todd. We're up for it, but you'll have to pay us five grand a week. Mm, you strike a hard bargain. I'll see what Jeremy says. How about getting Vladimir Putin to be at the meeting, Todd? Oh, you don't know. He's a very busy man. He's got lots of corpses on his end. <laughs> Deadly Squat Farm calling. Deadly Squat Farm calling. Who are these two? I have not seen them before, my little traitorous quizzling. They're a couple of nobodies. Don't take any notice of them. Just a couple of new raw recruits, Vladimir. They have a very nice buttocks. Oh, just hang on a moment there, Vlad. You're treating me and Sid like a couple of pieces of meat. I know I am. <laughs> Pipe down, you Anglo-Saxon. Oh, for £5,000, these two will sell Jeremy's Vampire Cookery book and spread the message about cannibal cookering. You must be joking. I only pay in rubles. So, how much is that in rubles? Oh, about ten rubles. <laughs> that can't be right. Hurry up, you two. There's your uniforms over there. And a couple of muskets. 
and we'll get you on the plane to Dondas. Quick thing, run. All right, and go, let's skedaddle. I don't want to go to Ukraine and be killed. <laughs> Your fault, Sid, that I fell for that cannibal nonsense. Don't worry, I heard Ukrainian food is very good. <laughs>